Is this for Mon or Heaven? It's Vlogmas Year 11. Hello everybody. It's me and my baby pouch against the world today. I love this flavor. Banana raspberry blueberry. It's delicious. Since I didn't finish editing the whole entire vlog last night, I'm editing it now. So just reviewing day 19, baby, and I'm gonna be doing this for a while. Normally I don't edit Vlogmas in my bed, but I don't know. I'm just feeling that vibe this morning and maybe I'll migrate over to my desk in a little bit. But for right now, bed editing it is. Look at this beautiful sunshine girl. That is so nice, just bathing in the sun. Me and my leg warmers and my avocado bread have moved to the desk. Sorry, I burped when I said that. <sighs> okay, I'm finally done with my work for the day. Not only did I do a little bit of, you know, editing this morning and then getting up the Vlogmas day 19 for you guys, I also was getting up some brand posts like sponsored on Instagram, so I just had to do that as well. And now it's like a whopping 3.30 and I'm going to go run some errands. I have a couple of things to do. I have a gigantic gift for Finley that I don't have enough wrapping for and I really wanna wrap it. I think it would be cute to wrap the box. So I think I'm gonna go get some wrapping paper for that and like see if I have any left over at the end and I can use that for other presents. But I'll show you how big the present is in a second. She is massive. I hope that one roll fits. But I also, while I was editing and watching back the video before I exported it and stuff, I always do that. I always have to review my videos. If you're a fellow creator, this is a good tip for you. Don't just like edit it and then immediately export it. Watch it back and write down in your notes on your phone the timestamps when you referred to another one of your videos. Because if you're like me and you make a lot of videos, you know, it's Vlogmas, so obviously I've been making a lot of them. But um, I also just reference like, oh, yesterday I did this. And then I'm like, maybe somebody didn't see that video. So I'll link to yesterday, you know? And so if you're ever watching one of my videos and you're like, damn, it's very timely, you know, when she's linking these cards on the screen for me to go and click them. I do that for a reason. <laughs> but as I was saying, while I was watching that video back, I was actually wrapping a couple more gifts, you know, multitasking. So I'm gonna show you the tree because it looks super cute. And I'm also chugging a protein shake because you gotta get in that protein during pregnancy, honey. And always, I mean, protein's just good. These dogs have been my cozy little helpers today, but this one has a lot to say. She's really been raising her voice a lot for some reason. Look at all the gifts under the tree. It just looks so lovely, doesn't it? I have everything wrapped for my father-in-law, one for our buddy Patrick. We're gonna see him and his girlfriend live in the new year, so I need to pick up something for Liv this weekend, so mentally putting that on my to-do list. This is actually from Auntie Lindsay for all of us, and it was sent in like a little plastic mailer, so I just wrapped the mailer inside of a box and then wrapped it for us, and we will probably open Auntie Lindsay's presents before we leave for the holidays. And then this one's for my mommy. I love the little simple yellow ribbons. And then last night you guys watched me wrap that one as well to Finn from Meg. I might put a little red bow on there too if I find one. Another Finn from Meg. Those are both Christmas presents. This one's the rainbows and this one's the wallet. I don't know why I'm whispering like he can hear me. I think he's literally outside. To Depop from Meg Drop Soup. Classic, love that joke still. Even a day later. Another one for my mommy, one for Georgie, and then this is one of Finley's birthday presents. And then his other birthday presents are in here. And I'm all out of brown paper, which is very clear. <laughs> you know, I used up a lot of it, but um, I was storing it all in there. But now I just have his presents in there. And that's also a reason I need to go and get more wrapping paper as well. Or some gift bags. I haven't done any gift bags under the tree this year, just boxes. This is my, hey, listen, I'm just a gal about town outfit today. I don't know how long I've had these, probably since like 2012 or 2013. My old Breckenridge, Colorado sweatpants on with my breadwinning housewife merch. Yep, very cute. Well, this one's actually Lindsay's. She has my brown one, but we never did the switcheroo. Actually, does she have my navy one or do I have both? I can't remember. A lot of stuff that we've swapped, like we even did a record swap a couple years ago and I don't remember like what I sent anymore. You know what I mean? And I guess that's why you swap in the first place. But anyway, I'm getting ready to leave and just have a little night on the town. I say night because the sun is setting very quickly. So while I'm out, it will be dark, but we will be vibing. And that's for sure, honey. I'm feeling bored. So I'm gonna have one of these before I leave. It's an extra dark day. If I could get it the hell out of here. Bone apple tip.
Coming to Dollar Tree with a gift wrap. All right, a couple of things. I'm feeling my sister in my heart right now because I'm parked in front of a Domino's pizza. She's obsessed. It's like the only pizza place that she orders from. Also, I'm not sure if this Domino's, maybe they deliver out to the boonies. I'm feeling kind of hopeful because where we used to live in Oregon, they did not deliver pizza to our house. Like There was just no food delivery at all. So I'm just kind of like, that would be cool if they did that. Because even when we lived in Virginia, uh, like where Finley grew up, there was one rural pizza delivery guy that would deliver to all of the boonies houses you know in like that area i mean if you'll drive and you don't mind driving it's a good thing to do people love pizza and it would be convenient for us also i'm really feeling connected to my sister right now because she went to the dollar store recently in one of her vlogs and i just went as well and i got christmas dog truck wrapping paper one roll of that and then this is for finley's present 20 feet of it i feel like it's totally fine i forgot to show you the big gift but i'll show you it when we get home and i can wrap it but i got um like super mario themed wrapping paper and i'm sure he'll like that and maybe if we have any leftover he'll use it too and then i also got a travel toothpaste finally you know nothing sustainable or crazy i literally just really need this when i was at the dollar tree i was like okay what else could i possibly need that would be like really cheap from here and I was like oh travel toothpaste because ever since I switched from using the bite toothpaste bits I have gum recession so my dentist like encouraged me to do Sensodyne toothpaste instead so I started using that but I don't have like a tiny travel size of it so whenever I go out of town wherever I am I'm just like anybody got some toothpaste you know and it's like you don't want to be that guy like you can be that guy a couple of times but it's like after a couple of months of traveling like you should at least get some of your own you know stop mooching off people jam toothpaste so i'm gonna use this truly revolutionary that i got that and then my last update is that um well i think that that was like the only errands that i really needed to do i was gonna go and pick up a gift for finley that's ready for me in massachusetts but it's like i think that the shop might be closed and i think i might just do that like tomorrow or even on Friday when we're down in Massachusetts anyways. It just has to be picked up before we go out of town. So I got a couple days, you know, honey. But um, I think I'm gonna go and get some Tito's Taqueria because I just want a burrito and I just wanna do a burrito mukbang as well in the car with you because I love that. And I didn't get to do a full mukbang with it the first time that I tried Tito's when we had it like after the dog's vet appointment a couple Vlogmas episodes ago. So I'm gonna go go and get some of that. And also I want to redeem myself with the Tito's because last time that I was there, it's basically like a local Chipotle and there's like a couple of different locations. I think they're in like Greenfield, Brattleboro, and then I think they have like a food truck as well. But yeah, the last time I went, I remember just telling you guys like, I don't know, I just feel like I kind of up my order and I got too much on the burrito that I didn't actually want. Like I didn't really want the guacamole and I didn't really want salsa, but I got both of those and I just felt like they're really overpowering just in my pregnancy. Like if I was eating the same burrito not pregnant, it would have been fine. So I feel like I need to go and redeem myself with a large burrito right now and it would just be like hearty and filling and full of veggies and rice and beans and I need that in my life, you know? So I'm gonna go head off and see Uncle Tito. <laughs> just kidding, Uncle Tito is the alcohol brand. But actually, you guys want to know something crazy is that Tito is my neighbor. <laughs> like the real guy who started the taquerias. If you all live around here and you have tried Tito's Taqueria, I had some comments like the first time I tried it on the vlog being like, oh, I miss Tito's. I used to get that all the time when I lived around there. So yeah. He's my neighbor. I haven't met him though. I've only met his wife, but that's just the neighborhood tea. Oh, my redemption line is calling. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, Uncle Tito? Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Okay. I'm sorry, that was stupid. I literally thought of that as I was walking out of the place. Like, what's wrong with me? Anyway, you know that they make a fat burrito when they have to double foil it, and that's what they do here. Welcome to my burrito mukbang. Today, I have a crispy flour tortilla filled with just brown rice because 
I'm trying to make healthier choices, and black beans. And then what else did I get? I branched out and I did get the fajita veggies, the roasted onions and peppers. Because I love onions and peppers and I want to introduce them back into my diet, and even though I get heartburn from tomatoes, I'm thinking like maybe I could still do the onions and peppers. So we're gonna try that tonight. And then I just got cheese and a little bit of lettuce. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Now that's a good Rito. There's a place over here called Whippersnappers. What is that place? I'm gonna have to look it up. It also looks like we used to have a Home Depot here and there is no longer one. It's this big orange building. Wow. This is delectable, but definitely a little spicy. Like their food is just inherently spicy. You gotta hand it to him. Uncle Tito, he makes a mean burrito. Also, I wanted to say, speaking of this Home Depot that looks like it closed, this is my new Chipotle, okay? We don't have Chipotle here, at least not anywhere remotely close to me. We don't have Target, we don't have Starbucks, any like major chain I feel like you normally see influencers like Target run or like going to my Starbies or whatever. I don't have that in Vermont. <laughs> and there are Starbucks like some places in the state, but it's always in like a big tourist town or something like that, like not where I live. But honestly, that's why I'm really happy that we chose the corner of Vermont that we live in because we are really close to New Hampshire. Like it's just right across this way from where I am right now. Or you could go down south to Massachusetts and have the convenience of all of the places that Massachusetts and New Hampshire have to offer because they have more chains. They have like, like New Hampshire has a Walmart and Massachusetts has more of just like, yeah, the regular chains. It's not like Vermont doesn't have chains. Like we have Walgreens, we have, you know, Burger King and like Taco Bell and fast food like that, but they're definitely like few and far between. The state itself is just more focused on like local goods, you know? Oh God, oh God. My frijoles, frijoles on the loose. You know, the worst part about black beans is if they like fall on your clothes, they actually stain. <laughs> it's very inconvenient. I will say this order compared to the last one I got, amazing. I knew that I just screwed myself last time. I was like, why did I do this? I ordered nothing that I actually wanted. <laughs> I panicked. I'm trying to think of like questions that you guys have asked me over the course of the past few vlogs and if I can answer any of them now. I mean, I think you guys already know my holiday plans, going to Virginia and then going to Georgia and not seeing Lindsay and Jared, but I do have to text Lindsay and ask if she would like to do the same thing that we did last year where we did like a FaceTime gift exchange of our presents that we sent each other. I think it would be fun to do that before I head out of town. And for those of you who are new here, because I actually have a lot of new viewers since I moved to Vermont, just because of like the renovation on the house and you know, new content basically. But I've been doing YouTube for 11 years now, okay? This is my 11th year of Vlogmas, which is crazy. And my sister, Lindsay Hughes, also vlogs. She's a couple years older than me, but she makes pretty similar content to me, just like lifestyle videos. So you guys should definitely go and check her out. I got a comment on a vlog recently that was like, what does she keep talking about her sister for? Does her sister have a channel? And it's so rare that I get a comment like that because a lot of my followers are like crossed over with my sister or they found me through my sister, you know, when I first started my channel, which is awesome. Shout out to her. <laughs> Lindsay lives in Boise, Idaho. So when I lived in Oregon, I was only a state away from her. It was like a seven-ish hour drive. So sometimes in Vlogmas, we would see each other, but now we live across the country from each other. So it's definitely not um, convenient <laughs> for travel plans, but hopefully she can come visit me in Vermont next year. I'm praying for that, especially with the baby on the way, you know. You know what I think is inherently spicy about these burritos is that they put spice on their cheese, which is interesting. Like I noticed a little, you know, seasoning blend on top of the cheese. Somebody just pulled in next to me. I'm gonna pretend like I'm not filming myself. Just weirdo things. <laughs> Don't mind me. I've already eaten half of this and I'm like, should I keep going? <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm also trying to think of like gifts for the dogs. I'm pretty sure I need to go to Tractor Supply Co to get this like big box of gooberlicious soft treats. They're like these little peanut butter treats and Larry's obsessed with them. And you know, I was talking about this when we had to take them in for a like dental checkup at the vet, but he has like a loose tooth. So I just wanna give him like something soft to have that's not too hard, like the dehydrated treats that we have now. So I think I might try to go to Tractor Supply Co tonight before 
before it closes because why not i'm already out on the town and sometimes car vlogs are my favorite vlogs like we just go around we bop around we talk we vibe i share whatever i'm listening to right now i'm just listening to the last book of the akatar series when i'm not listening to akatar i listen to christmas music <laughs> not like all the time <laughs> i'm talking about just in the month of vlogmas you know and even a little bit at the end of november i was doing it but i'll link the playlist down below that i listened to world's best christmas playlist it has like buddy the elf on the cover and then also ella and louis um swing and christmas album ella fitzgerald and louis armstrong oh this is good i'm really curious about whippersnappers do I have any napkins in here? The hell is this? $7 check? Why is this in here? Whippersnappers is a children's clothing store. Okay, <laughs> love that. My second question, did Brattleboro used to have a Home Depot? Yep, Home Depot announced on Thursday of 2008 that they were closing doors on their Brattleboro store. Oh my God, I didn't know that the original Home Depot location was in Marietta, Georgia. That's pretty cool. That's not too far from my hometown. You know, guys, I don't care. I'm gonna have as much of this burrito as I want right now. I'm not even that full. My nose is watering though because of the spice. I feel like the end of the burrito always falls apart and I'm getting a little anxious that that's gonna happen to me. Sorry, I have tortilla in my teeth, so I'm covering my mouth. But you know how earlier when I mentioned there's like no Target here or Starbucks and stuff like that? When I say stuff like that, are you guys like, holy shit, I can never live there? I want to know. I'm actually pretty curious how many of you live in a city kind of place or if you live like out in the boonies or in the country or something like that. Or maybe you live in the suburbs. I grew up in the suburbs. I love the suburbs. There's something very nostalgic about them. Whoa. Whoa, bunch of fucking rice flying out everywhere. I'm losing the rice left and right. Last big bite. 17 minute mukbang. Love that for me. Gonna try to blow my nose and maybe go to Tractor Supply Co. I don't know. Absolutely every time I drive into Brattleboro at night, I'm just like, oh my God, it's so festive. Look at it, even the hardware store has a festive window display up. Love that for them. Also, this building is my personal fave right across from Pliny Park. Oh, it's all just adorable. Sometimes I get comments on the vlogs that are like, Brattleboro reminds me of Stars Hollow. And I'm like, wow, that's kind of cute. I watched all of uh, Gilmore Girls last year and then like a little bit into the beginning of this year. So it's fresh on my mind, honey. It was my first time watching it and it was incredible. Okay, bye. Okay, I think this is my last errand for the night. Yeehaw, I'm at the Tractor Supply Co. and I'm gonna get my dog some Gooberlicious. Yeah. I'm having a lot of feelings about these. Oh my, oh my god. These ones match mine. Okay, I found them, but they're not in the packaging that I wanted. I wanted like this little cardboard box one. All right, I bought them anyway. <laughs> I was like, I already drove all the way here. I'm not gonna, you know, turn around and be like, they weren't in the packaging I wanted. <laughs> I do think that they sell a little tiny cardboard box of them. So that's why I was seeking those here. And because our local pet store, the One Stop Country Pet in Brattleboro, love them. They don't carry Gooberlicious and they would have to like order them in. And I was just like, I don't want you to do that. They're already at the tractor supply cup. So anyway, I also found something for my mother-in-law, a little gift. So if you you happen to be watching this, Lilla, please click out. I've already gotten her um, Christmas presents and stuff like that, but you know, before I was checking out, I saw these. Finley the other day said, I don't know anybody who gets as excited as my mom for socks. And every Christmas, she just like gets some socks and she's always so excited about them. And I was like, hell, I'll get her some socks. So I found these and they're called Little Hotties <laughs> Fireside Lodge Sock. And this could just be the marketing talking and it probably is, but it says that they're specific specifically designed to give you the ultimate comfort and warmth. Little Hottie Socks offer increased performance for all your outdoor activities. And she like horseback rides and does a lot of, you know, outdoor walk-in and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, she'll like those. And that little blue color is actually the same color as another thing I got her. So I might just like, you know, put them in the same package. Anyway, I think that's it. I mean, I'm gonna go over my list again of to-dos, but I'm pretty sure that was all of my little things that I needed to get done tonight. Yep, I marked it all off. I really just have to get one more present for a family member. And I'm just really fucking hoping and praying that on Friday, when Finley and I go shopping out on the town around Massachusetts, that I can find some stuff that I 
haven't been able to find yet. Even at the antique store that we went to, you know, before the like Christmas parade a couple of Vlogmas episodes ago, in that video I was looking for this person and I couldn't find anything. So my brain is really broken this year and I don't want to like leave it until the last minute and then just end up being like, I don't know, this will work. You know, I want to give it some more time, even though, <laughs> honey, I, I haven't given it enough time because I, it, it's five days until Christmas. <clears throat> Stupid, stupid. No, I really have just been brewing on this person for a while and considering what to get them, but I've just been a little dumbfounded. But I'm gonna head home now. I'm gonna do a little switcheroo of our flannel sheets to a different pair of flannel sheets. You wanna break these in, Rue? <laughs> Welcome to my beautiful and gorgeous and too well-lit basement. I'm doing the laundry and I figured might as well just tell you I'm doing it because I feel like we don't really film down here very often. I mean, honestly, I don't know why we would film down here a lot, but <laughs> yeah, I needed to do a ton of laundry today just because like, you know, before a trip, when you realize that all of your clothes are dirty and then you're like, oh shit. And you don't want to like deal with all the stress of it. I'm not in the phase yet of being stressed out for our trip. So I just want to continue that energy of just, you know, preemptively <laughs> doing tasks and not waiting until the last minute. I have one load going into the dryer, one load just came out of the dryer, and then I'm gonna put another load in the washer. I might actually need to do two loads of whites as well since I have these big old sheets. Finley's on the other side of the wall, hammering away at something. I don't even know what project he's working on at this point. Um, excuse me, you're sitting on my detergent. Okay, tell me why I didn't do this before. The wreath looks so much better here up above the mushroom toadstool compared to where it was over here before. I love it here, it's cute. Speaking of cute little upgrades, oh, there's my cute little boy. I put clean, new, fluffy sheets on the bed. These ones are actually even softer than our other flannel sheets that were on the bed before. These are from Garnet Hill. Even these pillowcases, I know they're a little discolored. These are our old Garnet Hill queen size sheets. And because we have a California King now, we got new ones. And, and Finley's the one who put me onto this brand. Hi, Rudel. He bought these sheets back in the day for the bed in his LA apartment. And I just found them so cute. I don't think they sell this pattern anymore of like the red and blue floral, but I know that they sell these because we bought them very recently, probably in like November. But I actually always have a discount code um, linked below. Like I have a ton of discounts always in my description for various things, but I added a discount for Garnet Hill. Also, Finley, if you can see that light shining, right there that's the pig shed back there and he is doing late night work on the pig fence dogs i might join you in the bed while we wait for the laundry to be done and maybe get some editing done on this vlog actually i totally forgot we were gonna wrap this this is one of finley's big presents not just in size but just because of what it is keep this between us and my greasy bangs okay i got him a really nice wooden and metal sled for when it snows here we can use it and it's like it's really good <laughs> i did so much research on like adult sleds that can not only support our weight but also go really fast so this is gonna be a really cute one it's also just like so classic vermont you know like lean it up against the wall at some point and it'll be like red and wooden and just cute love that for us so i'm gonna wrap this bad boy I guess I should have gotten two rolls of the same paper. I don't know why I thought it would be enough. Normal presents, Finley's presents. <laughs> Oh, it's perfect. The wrapping paper is perfect. Wow. So, do you care that I'm not gonna go all the way back to the Dollar Tree to get another roll to cover up the back? You're just gonna rip it right off. Do you like the wrapping paper? You know who's on there? <laughs> what? You got a star! Oh, there, Ray. Is Larry on there? I bet Rosalina's on there. I bet 
I've got a pretty good feeling about today. I really feel like two days since, right? Two days since a bad day. Ooh, this snowbird is actually really cute. Look at his little noobs. That's like boobs if they're only noobs though, because they're tiny. And he's got a bunch of snoobs on his back, which are noobs, but if they're also icy. So, yeah, a snooby, a uh, newbie snooby. That's why his name is Snob. Hi guys, I'm whispering because it's almost midnight. 